No one's coming. Good. Let's go. Are we gonna canter here, right? Yep, I guess we are. Good boy. Okay, there's someone coming up there. So, yeah, be on the lookout. Good boy. Aha, uh -huh, I guess he's walking away from us. Okay, seems good. Yeah, all right. <laughs> good boy. I think there's someone around this corner, honey. Yep, there he is. Yep, you see him. Yeah, good boy. He has a dog. And the dog is, yeah, it's on a leash. Okay, good. Next one. Good job. The forest here is basically dead. It's so weird. It's like spooky forest. Closing in on the highway, so you can hear cars. Ooh. Oh boy.
Ja. Here we come to a pretty steep hill. Yeah, gonna have to do some climbing. Good job. Yep, here we go. work. There are no people here. I've never met a single person up here. It's so nice. Usually when we meet cyclists or people running, he tend to get scared. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just because I said that. I guess it was an animal. But Usually up here we don't meet anyone. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah. Yeah, good boy. So we're gonna go in here. There's a bit of a forest patch that I crossed to get to the road along the highway. Oh, please don't kill me with the bush. There's no real path here, so you kind of have to figure out where you're going as you go but you know where you're going yeah you know where you're going you've been here before hundreds of times you see these patches here that's actually wild boar we have a lot of those in sweden and you don't want to meet them i've seen one once he didn't see it, but I did, thank God. Uh, but it was fine, because he didn't see it. <laughs> okay, let's focus. Where are we going? So now we're gonna come up to the highway and it's the way home so it's always faster uh, he's always faster on the way home and yeah we usually can't do the last stretch so uh, enjoy
job. I almost lost my balance there. Yeah. home. Yep. Good job, honey. Yeah. So as we're heading back home, we're going to take it pretty easy and I thought I could tell you a bit about myself. So I'm 39, I live in Sweden. Uh, I actually only been riding for four years. Uh, I wanted to start riding when I was a kid, as every other child, but uh, my mom was really allergic to anything with fur, so I wasn't able to. Uh, but uh, as I grew older and uh, moved away from home and made my own money, I thought maybe I should pick up on that childhood dream. So I had a look around and actually I thought it was, uh, it was impossible to start riding as an adult. I thought that you either do it as a child or you don't do it at all. But it turned out that you could actually start as an adult as well. There are beginning, beginner courses, at least here in Sweden. Um, so I started I had a riding school uh, on large horses to begin with. I uh, rode there for two years, I think, but kind of felt like these large horses, they're not really for me. I didn't feel comfortable around them. Uh, I couldn't relax. They were not always, I wouldn't say that they were mean, but they were unpredictable. So. I felt like maybe this is not for me. So I started looking around again and uh, found Icelandic horses. Uh, if you know, Icelandic horses are much smaller, but they're strong, they're fast, uh, and they have four or five gates. Uh, the most famous one, of course, being Tult. So uh, I started riding Icelandic horses instead and took a, some uh, per private lessons. Uh, and really fell in love with them. Uh, they're so kind, they're, they're so calm, uh, they're not that big. I mean, if you fall off, yeah, you hurt yourself, but it's not super far to fall. Uh, and, um, and of course, tilt. Uh, I mean, if you ride a horse that really knows how to tilt, it's like flying, it's amazing. So I felt like, okay, this is where I belong. Uh, so I took a kind of private lessons uh, and learned a lot, but kind of felt, sorry, what happened? Kind of felt that I wanted to ride private horses because I don't know if you've been riding on a riding school, the horses know what to do because they've done it a hundred times. They do it because the friend ahead of them is doing it or whatever. And I don't know, it feels like I'm not really learning anything here. Uh, because the horse knows what to do. I don't have to tell him what to do. So I found this amazing guy. Uh, his name is Oscar. Um, he's a gelding. He is 20 years old now, but he's really happy and uh, really energetic and just in great shape. Uh, and he's a private horse, uh, so I loan him. 
uh, and I ride for three or four times a week uh, you know, depending on the weather and whether it's fall or winter obviously we ride more in the summer winter is amazing as well uh, I look forward to record some videos for you when we canter in the snow because that's amazing and winter is really his his kind of season because Icelandic horses they you know come from Iceland it's cold uh, they have a lot of fur in the winter so it's usually quite warm from them in the summer but uh, yeah so that's us and uh, yeah, I look forward to starting with YouTube and uh, recording videos for you guys. So thank you for watching and uh, please like and subscribe and have a good day. Bye!